Okay guys, let's install iFramework 1 in WAMP in Windows. Yeah? We go to the browser, we type iFramework 1 and we should go to the iFramework web page. We go in the top menu, go to the framework and we're gonna scroll down in framework 1 and we're gonna delete a zip file. This link, we should click here and we're gonna uh, download this file. I, uh, I have already downloaded it. I'm not gonna do it again. In download, we have it here. I'm gonna delete this folder because I already unzip it, but I'm gonna do it again. Extract here. I'm gonna change the name, put a, sh uh, just type a short name leave it like I, just like I, copy this folder and paste it in WAMP server, yeah, uh, C, WAMP, W, and here we're gonna create a folder for our project, I project I1, okay, paste it here, paste it here, and we ha should, we should go inside of framework, this folder, folder uh, and like execute this, this file, but, yeah, with this file, we're going to create our structure structure for, uh, for our project. Um, okay, let's go um, in the start, type CMD, enter, and uh, here we're going to navigate it. We're going to go back two steps, and we're going to go in C, uh, C, WAMP, W, and uh, we're going to go in our framework folder yeah because we have to run um, like execute this file so go back to step cd and now go in front cd wamp actually this is the root on here we're gonna just copy this root and um, we're gonna paste it on here but we're gonna delete the c in the front because we are we are already already in the C. Okay, just enter. We are in framework in, in right now, <coughs> in framework folder, and we're gonna type the next uh, command. So we should type I. I C web app and now we're gonna say uh, where which is the folder uh, we should create for our structure of uh, our project so it will be in c wamp in ww in i1 so here we're gonna create a folder yeah which uh, there is not already on there, but we're gonna create it with this line, uh, command line. So here is our library, our iFrameworks um, library, and we're gonna create inside of here our projects, our iFramework projects. Okay then, so now let's go and type, let's say, project one. Okay, we have this error. It says because it's not recognized, uh, it's not rec recognizing the PHP Excel. We have to go here, uh, edit this file, e I C bot. Okay, we edit this file and we're gonna change something here. You see here at PHP Excel, this means uh, it's not complete. The root, we go to the root of our PHP X computer C WAMP bin PHP PHP again and here we have our ex exact double we're gonna copy this root paste type PHP dot X and we're gonna copy all this line and uh, we're gonna paste it on here okay we're gonna save this file and try again now 
yeah we're gonna say yes we want to create okay this folder and uh, we're gonna see here in this folder yeah when we're gonna type a presenter we're gonna see the our folder here we go okay so now we have our structure uh, for, for our project structure of folders okay then uh, should go in the browser and go to the local host uh, we should start the, f uh, the server okay should have to bring a light okay so refresh the web page we have this error you don't have permission we're gonna fix that right now so first of all we have to go to Mm. in my computer in C WAMP bin Apache Apache and uh, conf and here we have a file conf httpd conf we edit this file and we have to scroll down and find the line So something similar, but not this. This one, Di direct directory C one W. Scroll a little bit more down, and we have to change deny from all. We should put allow from all. Okay, now we're gonna save this file and uh, we should try again restart the server okay and open the browser again refresh and our server it is working now okay now we go to our application this is our folder this is our application this is the library we should click in project one and here you go it's working this is the installation from i for iframe or core in one 